So we've talked about the difference between log frames and search frames. And sometimes it's just logical to give up on your logical framework and recognize that you have to move into a search frame. So let me tell a narrative. One of my uh, recent PhD students went to design a program to help disadvantaged first generation students from Peru qualify themselves for good jobs in the Peruvian corporate sector, which formally, in the lack of any signal about the respective quality of applicants, was relying on social and other signals, and basically uh, it was very hard to make the jump from first generation college graduate to good formal sector job. Her diagnosis was that there was a lack of a filter a reliable signal of the quality of the job match between the firm and the candidate that the job could rely on. So she thought, I'll set up uh, an organization that will attract applicants. We'll create a filter that assesses the applicant's ability to do the job that firms want. We'll pass those firm, those qualified applicants to the firm who will hire the firms and we'll end up with a good job match. The firm will be happy because they have high quality, high productive workers. The, the applicants will be happy because rather than working in the informal sector being unemployed, they'll end up with good steady jobs. And she paid a lot of attention to the theory and models that would discuss what a good filter was and a lot of attention to applying what would be an assessment we could do, not a generic assessment of intelligence, but an assessment of the person's match to specific jobs that, that firms had. She then thought, in her logical framework, I'll dovetail this with an evaluation that will provide feedback of how this applying this filter leads to better good, leads people to better job match. So I'll do a learning feedback that moves from the applying of the filter, how good is the filter to lead to hires into a good job match in terms of um, retention by the firm of these workers. Launched it. <clears throat> Turns out she wasn't attracting any applicants. One of her unstated assumptions was that if she created a filter that would lead you to interviews that would lead to good jobs, she would be flooded with applicants willing to go through this process. But applicants either were unconvinced that this process would lead to jobs or, and so all of a sudden, an element of the design space that was critical to overall success was revealed to have been ignored. Now, the problem was is that her experiment and learning process was only designed to move from here to here, which meant if she did different things to attract applicants, the learning process of this, in some sense, would be uh, contaminated because the way in which you attracted the applicants may well affect the assessed effectiveness of your filter. So all of a sudden you had the choice, do I stick with my logical framework and attempt to assess whether or not I have the right filter? Or do I admit that I need to move into a search framework and I had ignored a critical dimension of the design space and now what I need to do is design the next step is say, what goes, my next step was actually designing ways in which I can attract applicants into the process while I apply my filter and required a complete revision of the, not only the way in which what she was doing but the way in which she planned to learn from what she was doing and the feedback she got about the overall design.